me introduce to you PC Lab. This is the application I'm going to use for uh, for the creating of the flyer, the ebook, the ID card, the business card. So let me tell you what everything is all about. Now you have my project. My project is what you've done. Then default like the background of what you want to do. So I like leaving it as default there. And with the, this does be just to clean. Then we have a a represent text. Like for instance, I'm going to add a text. Like for instance, I'm going to edit it. Type something. To press, you press edit because of the type. Let me just type um, smartphone. So then this T capital letter, big T and small T. Click it. If you click it, you become capital. If you click it, it becomes, all becomes small letters. I'm going to leave it as capital letter. I will OK it. Then I will touch the last edge here and expand it. Okay, you can actually use that. Then does been delete. Yeah, you can copy it if you want to copy it. All right, then does been I'll delete it. I don't want to copy it. Delete it. All right, so touch it once. Then you can send it to font layer. So you can send it to the back. You can position it. I did position it. Then relative position is very quick. If you want it to be at the center, back here and there like that. Hope you get what I'm saying. Okay. So then size you can reduce the size or increase the size. Then further it means you can make it shift. You can see shifting like that. Alright, then color and give it color. You can give the text color if you want to. Okay, then texture. If you want the text to have something inside. It can be text, can be shape. Move the shape to have something inside. Then you click on texture. In our sub skills, in our other video, you see it, me doing it. Then opacity just to reduce the the way it appears, as in the rate of its appearance. Rotation, yeah. So then max. If you want a place not to show, you can see it. Could have cut that place off. Alright. So, um, then we have front. So the the app has beautiful font that you can use. Like for example, I can change to this. I can change to this. So let me leave it as this. Alright, so adjust it a bit. Uh if you want to adjust, come on, adjust. Okay. If it's if it's showing this thing, if it's doing like this, you just have to go and use your let me locate my size and reduce it from there. Okay, then you can um, come to style if you bold italics and stuff like that. You can cough it and you cough it. You can give it a background color if you want to. So let me take away the background color. Then align it to be so if there are text, you can align, you can give it a stroke. You can give it a stroke. You can give it a shadow. You can give it an inner shadow if you want to. You can employ it, make it to shine. Okay, then you can use perspective the way you want it to appear at the first, like this, like that. Okay, and then um, 3D text. Can the to, to present in 3D. You can use the application to make many things. Can you to make logo, logo. I used to do your um, graphic design, mostly graphic design. This application is very beautiful, and that was I'm going to use. All right, then this center here. If we, if we want to include shape to this, now for instance, I'll come to this plus here. We have text, we have coin date, we have sticker shape. From they can take, you can take picture from the gallery and bring it here and draw it. So shape, we click on shape, then you select a shape from here. Let me just select this triangle. Then you can then the opacity. I also change the color if you want to this and that. Alright, then you can crop it. You can crop it. Use these tools or any other tools. Crop it. Then you can. The rest are similar to to the other things you've done. Alright, so now for example, I can send it to back. It will be at the back of the text. Okay. Then here the background color. I can decide to change it to be red. Orange and leave that orange. So you can put image at the background. Then up here we have the plus. I'll tell you what the plus is all about. This one is for to save as project or image. 
you can share it you have some code this icon tell us more like for example you can change the image size you can make it square you can even customize it if you want to okay so maybe let me change the size back to custom mm, to square like that. all right so you can do many things as you can see with this application so this is the application i'm going to use for our id card the flyer um, business card and another thing that i have to do with graphic design oh, so this is just an introduction of the interface then you have this one it's known as layer you can decide to move it up and down change everything the way you want it to be you can even put the center here and mash them together as you want okay then you click on ok or you click on cancel as the case may be all right so so you can see that they are mashed together here so that is all about the interface then you can save it as project save it as project put the name to be saved as project and come across it back you can save it as image so if you want to save it for downloading sake you can just save it as maybe i or i but even you can print it it's available save it as ultra then you save to your gallery and that is it so now we go straight to other business